So now we're going to look at how proportions can help us solve problems. And so we're going to look at some example problems. So on a map, a beta springs sorry, of a beta springs, they have a scale and five miles corresponds to two inches. So they scale the map so that every, um, two, two inches, <laughs> repeating the word two there, right? But one's the number and one's, so five miles correspond to two inches. And so, you know, we have some map, right? It's got roads on it. Um, and it's scaled so that every two inches is five miles. And I know in the age of GPS and phones, we don't get this as often, but if you go hiking as much as I do, or you ever need to figure out distances on maps, you can look at the map scaling and measure this distance. And so in this case, it's going to measure to seven inches. And so what we want to do is we want to find out, well, if that's seven inches, how far is it in miles? All right, if I need to go from here to here, and I've measured it on the map, how far am I going in miles? So we can look at this as a related rate by miles to two inches. And then in over here, well, we want to keep the units in the same place. So I will call this questionable part x miles and seven inches. And so I'll do my cross multiplication. So I'll do 2x equals, and cross multiply here, 35. And now I'll divide both sides by 2. And, you know, we can run to the calculator. That's 17.5. And what was the unit for our unknown thing? It was miles. So the proportion gives us the ability to um, solve um, a problem like this where there's some type of scaling. Right, let's look at another way proportions end up in a problem. So a dose of antibiotic And if you ever do any type of nursing, um, proportions and related rates um, and how these fractions come across are very important within dosage calculations. So the standard a dose of antibiotics is three cubic centimeters, three cc, for 50 pounds of body weight. Right? The idea is that the dosage has to is spread through the body, and so the body weight is a good idea of how much of the drug you need to dissipate. So if you have a patient that is 130 pounds, what should be your dose? What should be the dose? So 3cc for 50 pounds, 3cc per 50 pounds, now I'm going to use the standard abbreviation for pounds, LBS, equals, and I'm wondering how many cc's I'm going to have, so I'll make that x for 130 pounds. Now quickly I'm going to note my units are the same upstairs, my units are the same downstairs, that's my double check, and now I'm going to cross multiply. 50x equals 130 times 30. 
So that's an extra zero in there. Oh, that's not 30 cc, that's 3 cc. I don't know why I put 30. I misread that, but that's an easy fix. I remove a zero, and I remove a zero because I was just off by a factor of 10. So that's 390. Now I divide both sides by 50. And so 390 divided by 50. 50 goes into this seven times. And I'll bring my decimal point down. So I bring down a zero. And so I need 7.8 cc's as my dose. And we'll look at one more example here. I have a 50 pound bag of fertilizer. that's rated to cover 2,400 square feet. We probably solved this problem before, but we're gonna look at it as a proportion. And so how many bags do I need to cover 15,360 square feet? So 50 to 2,400 will be my first ratio, 50 pound. Actually, that's a bag, and so I actually want to count bags. So the weight of the bag doesn't matter, does it? It's the number of bags, right? If I were buying different weights of bags, I, I could do that. So this 50 is extra information because I want the number of bags. And so I'm checking my units as a way of double checking myself. One bag covers 2,400, and I'll use this for square feet. And so I want to know how many bags for 15,360 square feet. And so my unit checked helped me there because this 50 pound was extra information because I was looking for bags. So see how we use our words and our units to help check. And now I can cross multiply. 2,400x is equal to, in this um, cross multiplication, 15,360. And now I'm going to do my division. Now again, you know, we're at the point where we can use our calculators. We don't need to do the algorithms, but since I am not with the calculator on the screen, I'll put this in here. So six times, right? It's around 12. So I get 0, 0, 4, carry my 2, 14. 0, 6, 9, 960. And so put my decimal point, bring down a 0, 4, 0, 0, 6, here, yeah. And so I need 6.4 bags to cover 15,360 square feet. So I'm probably good to buy seven bags, right? I don't have a store where I can buy. 0.4 bags of fertilizer, or 0.4 bags of poop poop, if you get right, that's what fertilizer is. And so this is how proportions actually help us solve problems. Um, in the next um, lecture, we're, go we're going to look at um, how proportions came up in geometry, specifically triangle relationships that are very important for us kind of laying out our geometries.